Welcome to the middle of nowhere, El Paso. Just landed. We're flying the warp off that mountain. So what happened? What happened? Who was hiking? Why did you, why did you land over there? I thought we were supposed to hike. Oh, he was a hiker. Hike it's and not, it's fly. Paragliding. Hike and fly and hike some more. I wish, I wish it could have been longer. I should have flown my warp today. Yeah, should have flown warp. Hmm. Then you would have sank out. Mitch's Ridge. I got the 20 meter warp. I got my assistant Clint. <laughs> and we're gonna send it. It's actually pretty strong right now, which uh, we predicted. But uh, wait for some thermal blocking for a low cycle and then we'll send it. Should be fun. Peace. Let it fly, let it fly. Stay on it. Right brake. Right brake. Right brake. Right brake. There you go. You did it. The, oh, really? That's why you need gloves. Now, uh, one thing you should know when free flying a warp is that you should not have uh, power attack enabled. You should keep power attack disabled with the rope installed. Uh, if you do take a collapse, it's important that you don't have power attack enabled. It helps the wing reinflate much faster. Pulled that off smooth. Okay, trims all the way in, check. <laughs> we did it. What up, dude? 20 meter whoop, free flyer, what, what? Beautiful glider. I'm holding the, the brake lines here so that I can use more main brake instead of tip steer. I can still use tip steer though for very efficient turning. Oh, I love it. It's a, it's a little bit faster than my free fly wing. I got, I'm going to turn this Vario off so you guys don't have to listen to it. Goodbye Vario. Oh man, this is great. I'm already higher than Clint. He's a little bit further out on the ridge though. Look at this. Ow! Beautiful. It's all about the wing loading. So this wing has the most agility of any wing that I've owned. The only wing that might be as agile as this wing is a free ride. And the cool thing about these wings are, even if you fly them in the, uh, in the free flight weight ranges, like I'm doing right now, I'm on a 20 meter and I'm about 85 kilograms all up weight right now. These wings are very, very efficient. You just got to fly them in the right weight range to get your minimum sink down low. Look at this agility. So yeah, as I was saying, they're super clean. Oh, 
Oh, it's still so agile. So much agility. Super clip. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. You know, wings like the Universal are advertised as being dual purpose for paragliding and motoring. Um, and they mention in a lot of motor wing manuals like the Warp that the wing can be used for both. Excuse me. And uh, you can, you can free fly any wing. Um, but something that makes a motor wing, a paramotor wing, also good at free flying is the ability to pull the trims all the way in and have a slow trim speed. The warp in particular has a very slow trim speed with the trims all the way in. And that is mostly for slalom racing, having the ability to slow down and tight turns around pylons. Let's dodge Clint. Woo! There's Clint's wake. <laughs> We're both on paramotor wings right now. There's Clint's wake again. Our trim speed is, it is, is about the same. And Clint's on his uh, Universal, I'm on the Warp. So a lot of pilots complained about how slow the warp was with the trims all the way in. But uh, when you're motoring, I don't even fly with the trims all the way in unless I'm doing a lot of acro. So the weight distribution is proper on the lines. But um, having that ability to slow the wing down with the trims all the way in so much is great for doing things like this. So if you're an advanced pilot, and uh, you don't want to free fly with a universal, but you want a dual purpose wing, you can do it with almost any wing, but I'll argue that the warp is exceptionally good at it because it does have the ability to really, really slow down on that trim speed. Let's turn this puppy upside down. so agile so agile especially if you're just ridge soaring at least here where i live in el paso most of the free flight pilots we ridge soar we're flying in the the mornings or evenings usually the evenings and we're just ridge soaring the mountains here because that's what we have oh and for ridge soaring glide ratio doesn't matter the only thing, the only thing that matters for ridge soaring is your descent rate. He, Clint's trying to catch me. He can't because I'm on a warp. He can't catch me. <laughs> I'm just flying with weight shift. Woo -woo! Just a touch of tip steer. I'm higher than Clint. He is jacking around though a bunch. And I'm just flying efficiently. So yeah, when you're ridge soaring, the only thing that matters is your, your minimum sink rate, your descent rate. Which is when your glider is trimmed really slowly and maybe on some wings even a little bit of brake pressure. The warp is trimmed slow enough that a little bit of brake pressure I don't think will help your descent rate much and it's safer to just let this wing fly because it still has a reflex profile that can really help you out. So if you free fly this warp, if you free fly a warp or any reflex wing, let it fly through the turbulence 
if you take a collapse, then it's time to active pilot. Pump the brake to get the collapse out, but only just enough brake, not too much. You don't want to stall the wing unless you have a cravat. Yeah, best to free fly the warp with the trims all the way in. Power attack, disabled, not enabled. Let the wing fly, keep your speed up, let the reflex work for you. Until it's time to active pilot. There's Clint. He's gotta use a little speed bar to keep up. Can we wing tip bump? I'm just more efficient than he is. Just a touch. <laughs> All right, game on. Who can stay up the longest? Me or Super Clint? All you hot pilots with warps out there, gonna be trying to send it free flying style. <laughs> oh, come on. Getting some turbulence. Getting more lift on my right. Clint is sinking out. This is where I turn. This is where I want to stay right here in this little bowl. <laughs> oh, I beat Clint on the uni. This is good, man. This 20 meter warp. And uh, just a reminder, I'm at 85, 85 kilograms all up on a 20 meter warp. I could even be on a 22 meter. Um, if, if I was going to ridge soar lighter wind conditions, I would pick a 22 meter. But this 20 meter is good for high wind ridge soaring. Perfect for it. <laughs> oh, sorry, Clint. Sorry you sank out. Oh, he's low. He better head for landing. Oh, man, he just landed. On the road, no way. Okay, well that's a new technique. I haven't seen anyone do that before. Well, <laughs> Damn, that sucks. I think I'm going head for landing soon. Winds are getting lighter and lighter, as predicted. I dig it, man. If, uh, if I could have as many wings as I wanted to, I would definitely keep a bigger size hot wing like a drift air or a warp or a hadron three probably a hadron three honestly but uh this wing can do it too this will be the highest performance you can get from a motor wing for this kind of flying but uh yeah keeping like a a 16 meter size and then like a 20 or a 22 meter size and then you know fly which one you want depending on the day if i could have unlimited wings i would definitely do that but uh, my garage is only so big and my wallet's only so big as well. And the cool thing about this wing is you can come and free fly with it like this and then clip into your motor the next day in calm winds and rip around on it, haul butt, 40 miles an hour. Probably 45 miles an hour on this wing, easy. Even uh, at my size, my wing loading. I would compare this to high ENB. Uh, as far as glide ratio and sink rate goes and stuff. So if you want to free fly this wing like this, look at what size E and B paraglider you should fly and then choose that size warp if they make it in your size. And uh, that should get you in the ballpark for what size warp you should have to uh, paraglide with if this is something you're interested in. 
All right, this is it, guys. This is the last pass on the warp. Skirt the ridge, and then we're going to head for landing. Ow! There's Clint down there. <laughs> He's got to walk all the way over there to the trucks. I mean, I could go get him, but I don't know where his keys are. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the free flying on the warp. 20 meter. Try to catch me howling at the moon. Once I find